Hey everybody, Randy here. Been wanting to do overnighter for a little while now and I just haven't had the proper winter gear and the scheduling didn't work out and everything. But tonight I got the opportunity, we're gonna go, me and my buddy Brian, got about an hour ride, we're gonna do a state forest, uh, camp in a lean-to. Should be pretty good, it's pretty nice weather, I don't think any rain. Uh, we're gonna get some snow in a couple days, but that's a couple days from now. Uh, so I'll get back to you in a little bit. And hey, we got to stop at the butcher, do a few things, check the air and the tires, yada yada. But uh, should be pretty fun. Stay tuned. Well, I think we arrived, but this is what we're coming up to. So we're going to take a hike back. See if it's the right place. And if it is, we're just going to leave the car parked where it is and uh, come back and get our gear. All right, so it turns out we are in a different state forest than we were supposed to be. So we got a little another, uh, got a backtrack for like 20 minutes. And uh, we should come up to the one we're looking for. All right, we made it to our destination here. There's the trailhead over there. We had a little turnaround. It wasn't bad, only about 20 minutes. Uh, it's a pretty nice state forest, actually. Um, nice parking lot. Uh, pretty uh, muddy coming in if you got four wheel drive though no problem but uh, we're gonna go down the trail here there's a nice pond and it's about it's a, it's a little less than a mile to the uh, lean-to that we're going to so we do have the luxury of bringing some extra gear so we're probably gonna make uh, two trips so uh, we'll probably hike in a bunch of gear leave it there come back and grab some beers so uh, I'm gonna get packed up and we'll catch you on the trail Okay. Right up here is a pond and there's a campsite, designated campsite right here. Right by your car. So if you don't want to hike far, right over here. There's a nice little pond, it's got it all iced up. Yeah, this trail is only about, uh, I'd say, three quarters of a mile. So we got the luxury of bringing, I'm bringing uh, quite a bit of extra stuff with me. To make it comfortable. Someone else is on the bed, It's a pretty good sized pond. What? It's a pretty good sized pond. All right, now we're coming into some uh, nice pine forest. This is a pretty easy trail. There's not too much elevation. We got some water in it, but you just go around it as you can see. There's plenty of room. All right, coming up on home for the night over there. We've really literally been walking like 10 minutes. I mean, this is not far at all. Um, which is why I got a little bit heavier pack. Uh, we have heavy sleeping bags. Uh, I have a heavy mat for sleeping, sleeping pad. Uh, we're going to be able to walk back to the truck and grab a 12 pack. So, we should have a good time tonight. But this thing here is like a bomb shelter almost. All right, uh, me and Brian just been focusing on getting some firewood, um, trying to find some dead standing and shit laying around, uh, leaning up on the trees because, uh, uh, what time is it here? Yeah, we're around five o'clock right now, so it should be light till about six. So, no big deal. Um, we're just getting enough wood um, to get started here. Some of this wet stuff will burn, obviously, once we get a roaring fire. Um, then after we get a lot of that all set up, we're going to take a walk back to the car. Uh, whether it's dark or not, you can't really get lost here. The trails are marked so good and everything. So A uh, little bit of a drizzle right now, too, but it's supposed to stop. So, All right. What's up, YouTube? 
Well, I figured I'd take a little time to show you guys what I brought out with me. Uh, some clothing here. I have some thermals, synthetic thermals. I got some wool gloves. Got a wool hat, palco wool. Got leather gloves. And I got some wool socks, dry socks for sleeping in. And I also brought a down coat for sleeping if I need to. I got a pillow. I'm sleeping with a military sleep system, so it should be plenty warm. Won't need a fire for uh, staying warm tonight at all. Uh, I got some paracord. I got a Bluetooth radio. Like I said, we were able to bring some extras with such a short hike. I got a little knockoff GoPro, which this thing isn't that great. I'm just going to buy a real GoPro. Uh, I got a folding saw, cheap folding saw. I need to upgrade this. Maybe get a silky or something, but this should do a little bit of work anyway. I got, also got a cheap axe too, it's E swing axe. I'm not a fan really, it's okay, but gotta upgrade that too in the future. Um, got a nice big adventure mat that I'm sleeping on, so it would be real comfortable. It's a self inflating mat. It's uh doesn't pack down real small, but it's not that heavy. Um, as far as like all the odds and ends and stuff, I got everything packed in this molly pouch here. I mean, there's a little bit of everything in here. I mean, I've got Israeli bandage, multi-tool, uh, a lot of first aid, extra flashlight, toilet paper, you know, just all the, all the odds and ends. You know, there's some duct tape, uh, Vaseline cotton balls, all kinds of stuff in there. And it all fits nice on here. You know, all self-contained. So pretty much whenever I go camping, I can just throw this in and I'm good to go. Um, as far as knives, I have uh, this knife here. I don't know if you can see that well in the light. It's a Damascus. It's super thick. I mean, this thing is so thick. It doesn't really get that razor sharp. I don't know if it's because it's so thick. Uh, I put it on the Japanese whetstone and don't seem to, I mean it gets sharp but it's not like razor blade or it's not cutting paper too well but it'd be great for like baton in or for you know defense or anything like that. And then what I do instead though is I have another small, smaller knife. I actually made the handles for this one myself, black walnut ones. And um, this can do some nice feather sticks or you know any fine carving that I need to do out here to get the fire going. Um, grab plenty of sticks off of like the the pine trees. Lower on the pine trees, they're still attached or dry as a bone. Great place to look for uh, to get your fire started. And once you get a nice large coal base, I mean, pretty much everything will burn, you know. Uh, got a nice pound and a half ribeye, 25 bucks for this thing. We'll show you how to cook that up later. And um, I got uh, char crust seasoning. Never tried this before. Um, my buddy Brian said it was real good. This thing was like six bucks for this little seasoning pack, so we'll see how good it is. We'll give it a whirl. I like to try something a little different. I don't spend. I don't mind spending a little extra money when I'm going out camping. Um, just got a cotton T-shirt on. Cotton's not really good to wear, but I have extra synthetics and keep them dry for when it gets chilly when I'm not doing anything. Um, that's basically pretty much it. Brought a ton of water. Uh, like I said, we were able to make two trips to the truck, so I got uh, got some Bud Lights, too. They're not the greatest beer, but I'm not big on the IPAs and everything. I know a lot of the people on YouTube and everything, they like their IPAs. I like the I like the lagers. So, Yinglings, all different. But Other than that, um, just been, I'm going to process some wood up, probably, uh, try and get some... Uh, that's a good solid piece of hardwood. See if I can't get that broken down and split or sawed up. We'll see what goes on with that. But I'll catch back to you guys in a little bit. Well, not perfect, but it works.
Maybe I'll try some baton with it. Gotta practice my aim here. Just trying to go for that natural check mark in the wood. Definitely need to work on my aim. See if it does anything for father stick in here. It's making curls, but I don't seem to be greatest for making father sticks here. Get that other knife and give that one a whirl, see what happens. Alright, let's see how this one does. This one definitely bites in better. might not be like the straightest grain to make feather sticks either, you know what I mean? But definitely getting some curls. Well, she's starting a little bit here. One thing about this knife is it's so short, I seem to be wanting to get splinters in my thumb here. She will make feather sticks, as you can see. She definitely will. It'll definitely do it. Oh yeah, she burns. You want to take your time, you know, you want to start with real small dry twigs, put a nice base down. Brian dug this out a little bit, usually on the public land here. The kids, I mean, it was full of tin foil, everything else, you know, tons of garbage in there. There's obviously still a ton of ash in it, but we're not digging all that out. We just got to clean it off so then when we go to cook our steaks on here, it's, it's all right, you know what I mean? So obviously I got a pretty sustainable fire already, it looks like. And we'll get this going. Start building up a cold base so I can get cooking soon. Oh man, I'm, I'm pooped, man. A lot of hiking, man, I'm out of shape. Oh, it's time to relax now, though. 
fire's kicking, about to put on some tunes, crack a beer, uh, put some baked potatoes in the oven in the foil, or in the fire, I'm sorry. Uh, you have to forgive me, this is my first time making a YouTube video, so if the filming's not that great or whatever, you gotta give me some uh, slack on that. Oh. We'll get to the editing part afterwards. That I have no clue what I'm doing, but I'm sure I can learn. I'm pretty computer savvy. Oh. One thing that I wanted to tell everybody is just, uh, you know, don't lose your keys out in the woods. And another big thing is just don't take your time when you're walking down the trail, especially at night. Like, don't trip and sprain your ankle. Uh, besides that, you're pretty much golden, you know. Oh, can't wait to eat. So this is what we got for the dog food here. What is this thing? Can you see it in the oh, thing? Fresh pet. Missed a little bit of it, but cut it off because she already ate some. But fresh pet select, you know, chunky beef recipe with vegetables, some brown, brown rice. rice. Looks pretty good, actually. I want to eat that. It smells like summer sausage. <laughs> you like that, Angel? Yeah, she's like, hurry up, cut that shit. Huh? Still no, go filming. ahead. No, go ahead. Yeah, I'm filming, but whatever, just go ahead. It's like Uncle Joe's baloney. Look at that. Big biscuit. Ooh, I think she hurt her cooter. <laughs> Angel's getting all worked up because there's been an owl going off. There's a couple of them, actually. Hey. Hey! Alright, that's a weird noise. Get over here. Move it! Move it! <laughs> Man, those sounded cool though, man. There was a couple of them. There's like three of them. I think the dog kind of turned them off now.
Plus, that's a thick stick anyway. So, you want to have a Yeah, put pressing in. Pressing in. Secret. Show them a picture of it all. Both sides, of course. You don't want one side seasoned steak. Make sure you have it well seasoned with this charred crust. Because I'm actual, them, those sugars will actually make a crust. When they caramelize, supposedly. So we want to put it on pretty heavy. There's no salt in it, really. We looked at the ingredients. All right, looks great. All right, we're gonna try a piece of scrap tin foil here, and we had this grill. going for a while. We're gonna clean the grill, hopefully. This grill's been burning off. Definitely helped a little bit. I'm not trying to push too hard either. Oh yeah, that's hot as that's hot. I'm gonna let it burn down just a little bit more before we put the steaks on. I think the potatoes off. All right. We've been burning this off for quite a while. Time for the sizzle shot. Definitely let it burn down the coals. Real nice. Those are gonna have to sit for a little while. They're a little thick. Won't be too long. Brian is just stoking the fire here, getting it uh, nice and ready for more cooking. Putting the coals where they're supposed to be. That was smoky, smoky. Yeah, that adds to the flavor. It's been a long time since I had something cooked on the fire like this. Me and Brian also do a lot of barbecuing. Um, smoking and grilling. Yeah, smoking and grilling right in the middle of the city, so it doesn't matter. But Make your own bacon. It's been a while since I tasted this. So we'll come back in a little bit and we'll uh, see how they're coming along. There you go. Oh, we we'll got some smoke going. See if we can zoom in just a little bit more. And I'm moving the side a little bit. Mine's trying really nice with that season and so is Brian's. Look at that. Wow. That is nice looking. Really nice looking char on that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, Brian's got his stuff off in his pan, resting. Mine's just getting the juices going. I think it's a pretty thick steak, so I'm going to give it a minute. But uh, it's almost ready looking like clear juices. You just see them piling up on there. Alright, I just pulled my steak off. Um, went to rest a little bit. Looks perfect, dude. Really got a nice crust. Really red in the middle. 
sure after it sits for a couple minutes it'll be even better. Beat it. Butter and salt. Oh yeah. Nice. It's butter here. Salt, pink Himalayan salt, a little bit, a little bit. Alright, let's see what she looks like. See that there, there you go. Beautiful. Oh, really nice crust. Glad we bought that seasoning. Definitely a winner. Well, good morning. It's like 7 o'clock. I uh, slept pretty good. We didn't get too much hours sleep, but what I did get was pretty comfortable. Uh, basically slept just like that. Oh, definitely warm enough. We're going to get packed up, though. We're going to get hiking out of here. Definitely brought a lot more weight than we really needed to, too. I only used part of my sleeping bag. I just used the patrol bag. I didn't, or not the patrol. Is it? That's the intermediate bag. Didn't even need the patrol bag or the bivy or anything. Didn't really need my axe. Didn't use it. Um, a lot of things that just didn't even need, you know. Never ended up putting my wool socks on or my long johns or anything. So next time we'll know. That's how you learn. Oh, it's a little weird talking in the camera. You gotta get something you gotta get used to for sure. Oh, I'm a little groggy too. <laughs> uh, but everybody, if you like this video, go ahead and click like. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of camping. I usually go camping about once a week. Now that springtime, it's coming up. Big time camping season gonna do a lot of state parks a lot of state forests campgrounds cabins who knows all kinds of stuff so well, all kinds of people so uh, sometimes I might bring my young son I have a four-year-old son so he likes to go camping too I didn't bring him to the lean-to today because it's a little cold obviously but he has been here before so, yeah definitely heard some noises last night there's a big crash we think it was a tree falling we're not sure but uh, yeah, there's some, there were some beavers in the pond slapping their tails, scaring the crap out of us at the middle of the night. Uh, definitely was an awesome trip, awesome trip.